Hello guys, this is Jason Sand here doing a Pokemon Black Let's Play. This time we're finally finishing Route 3, so we're going to move on to the next town. Now we're going to go to the next gym, by the looks of it. Which is also a museum. What skeleton is that? I have to wonder. Looks kind of like a dragon eye. I don't want to see a tour of the One Room Museum. Jeez. And if it was having an accident while flying, wouldn't that destroy the skeleton or something? Energy from space. Well, what is it? It doesn't belong in a museum, does it? like a library. Yeah. I kind of for, um, yeah, you have to answer questions hidden in books. Or something. Hey, buddy, give me a second. I didn't even walk through the front door. Have a sense of decency, you stupid kid. The gym here is normal, and, uh... It's also a bit tough for, uh... Newcomers, I guess. By the next time. Solo smugly forever. Not all worms are bugs, you moron. No, it was nice to meet you, Pokemon, or something. Shelf in the middle row. Yeah, this is confusing. Wait, what? Oh, oops. It was Pat Rat, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was it the dragon one? No, I don't want to read a book about biology of Pat Rat. That's got to be the stupidest book ever. to look inside the books and talk to them about the memos you find in the books. And apparently locomotives have fire inside their nostrils. Uh. Oh yeah, uh, this is the evolution of uh, Lillipup Herdier. It learns takedown, so that's like a lot of damage early on in the game. Also a cheater. Maybe waste my power points. Yeah, like the gym leader has like a hurt ear and the watch on the, the evolution of Patrick. Nietzsche. Um, Nietzsche is pretty good, especially because uh, 
Smugleaf gets good defenses since it's final evolution. I don't I didn't get any books, you jerk. General studies. Okay, locomotive. That's not how locomotives work, it's a machine, not a living organism. Uh, there are a lot of things you can heat in a pot that taste delicious. I don't know, I do think Tepig could be pretty good. I mean, it is a pig. A lot of people like pork chops. Or bacon. Poffins. Uh, I hated that. Two backward, one for the... Uh, yeah. You know what, screw that. I think I already know where the stairs are. They're right here. I don't really get that whole memo business. You can tell. Oh well. Grow. Face the divine wrath of Smugly. You can't handle it. No one can. It is invincible. It is your destiny that you will lose. Especially if I use growth this week. Yeah, once you meet this trainer, I think there are uh, some hidden stairs that go down or something. Oh, come on, I don't want to read any of these stupid books. Especially about Tepigs. Yeah, I could have just pushed the switch, the switch the whole time, but instead I had to answer a bunch of stupid questions, like whether or not Tepic would make a good bacon or something. Okay, gonna heal. Okay, back from healing, and now we can fight the gym leader. Gym leader here is Lenora. She uses all normal types, and she has two Pokemon. Uh, one of them is Hurtier. Which knows takedown, so it does a lot of damage early on. The other one is the evolved form of Pat Rat, which is Watchog. That's just a stupid name. Yeah, besides takedown, her deer isn't really that great. It has intimidate, but I'll be using special attack, so there's really a problem. Why is it lagging so badly for me? Yet? Also about her uh, watch cog, the nose retaliate, which does like twice the damage if the Pokemon that she just used fainted. So once you faint or prettier, retaliate will do like twice the damage, so you should be careful about that. Uh, come on, this is just terrible lag. I don't want to have uh, defense down when fighting her brutality using the Watchdog. Does a lot of damage. Yeah, I use stat up moves. That sure is a lot to learn. Hmm. Don't 
dumbest, 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 yay! Yeah, her watchdog. Just be careful, retaliate once she uses it, then that's basically its only threat besides hypnosis. After it uses retaliate once, it'll only do like half the damage. Won't be much of a threat. Man, I didn't know tap water was a kind of medicine that instantly heals things. Maybe it's mineral water. Super secret mutant water. I mean, ouch, that does do a lot of damage, doesn't it? I'm gonna leech heat it so I can. because it tends to like use hypnosis a lot, which is really annoying. But since I have Leech Heat, I'll be constantly sucking his health. See, it only does like barely any of the damage. I did give Smugly the Chesto Berry, so I'll just kind of wake up after that. Pretty much the only use for those things. The first gen, I don't like berries. Except for lumberries. Those are actually useful. Yep, battle's over. Gotta love that loot cheat. Level 22! A the best. Um, basic badge. It's a rectangle. It's an amazing badge. Chink. Yeah, and she also gives you a retaliate, which is a technical machine. It's not really that good because it means you have to have your Pokemon faint before you use it. Yeah, because they need the bones for some reason. Do the bones make Dream Mist when you grind them up? Or are they just doing that because they can? What are you doing standing there? Or get behind them so they can't go away. Yeah, they want a dragon skull for some reason. Well, if they're using a smoke screen, then it's not really before their eyes, is it? Okay, how do they even move that fast? They can't, they see, they, whatever. It's just kind of super cartoony, like this is Looney Tunes, and people can just walk in midair, and they only start falling when they realize they've walked on thin air. Oh, I guess that explains a lot. Because if we were in Looney Tunes, then Team Plasma doing nothing that makes sense would make sense. Yeah. Oh, who's this asshole? Just look at that emo here. This is Berg. Ah, c'est la vie, no? Yeah, super important exhibit, I'm sure. Everybody, there's only two people. Besides me. We have a problem, Spock. I didn't even say anything, you just kind of assume they're trainers. Probably because they look ridiculous. Pinwheel forest. Is it our pinwheel? Or is it... The shut up. I don't like people who use alliteration like that, you asshole. Uh, yeah, the dowsing machine. It's basically like... It shows you where... Machin! The dowsing machine shows you where things are on the ground by like tapping the touch screen or something. It's pretty helpful. Oh yeah, the, I'm sure the museum needs protection when they were running away.
Thanks for doing nothing. You guys are a great help. Well, I'm getting close to the end of this video. Next video, we'll get that dragon skull.